Finian says, you get more support if you played something the viewers don't hate. You mean like GTA 5, which currently has the most attendance on streams, the most views on YouTube, and the lowest support of any game I'm playing? Wrong. Hello, and welcome to James the Lesser Express Lane, where we get you in and out as fast as possible with PSP, got a new toy. Claims the fans sent it, but, well, let's watch. But, this morning, I'm sitting in my, my kitchen having breakfast with my wife, Jasper Kitty's running around the house being a nut. The doorbell rings. It's here. And I open up a package. Ladies and gentlemen, sitting inside is something that I never believed would even look like this. Are you ready for this? Because we're going to do this live together. I received a mini PC today, this morning, in the mail. All right? Now, here's the thing. I don't know much about this. All right? At all. I don't know how this works. All right? Are you talking about life? Oh, no, you're talking about the PC and life. All right? But all I gotta do is I gotta mess around with this and try to figure this out. All right? From what I'm under oh, God, he's gonna break it, isn't he? understand this is a mini PC that should be pretty powerful. I think it costs a few hundred dollars, if not more. All right? But I guess we're gonna try to figure it out. So what is it? It's called Trig Key S... Someone figured out what it was. It costs about 100 bucks less than a Steam Deck. Speed, high-performance S-series mini PC. And it says on the back, it's got an AMD Ryzen 7 5800H processor, 32 gigabytes of RAM, a terabyte of storage, and it has both wireless and a LAN connection. Okay? What kind of storage? HD, SSD, M2? So there you go. It's a mini PC. Do you want to see it? It's not opened yet. It's, it's vacuum sealed. Do you want to open it and see what it is? All right. So... You want to play the... Oh, wait, no. He does not want to play the game. What's the GPU? I literally just said it. What, did you have your fingers in your ears? I just read it right off. <laughs> what the frick? It, essentially, it's the same processor or similar processor to what's in my laptop, right? In fact, if I do this, I'm curious. Um, if I click on this, my laptop, and I go to... What would you say? Just say system? System information on my laptop, Okay. So my lap Fascinating, isn't it? Top has an AMD Ryzen 3 3200U. This is an AMD Ryzen 7 5800H. That sounds like a much higher end processor, correct? Yeah, it does, right? Sure. My laptop actually only has, according to this, 12 gigs of RAM. Yeah. While this thing has a whopping 32 gigs of RAM installed, apparently. All right. What's the graphics card that I have no idea. I don't even know you know what it's probably I mean it's this small. You have to think that it's it's got to be like a, a crappy onboard graphics card. Wait a minute, you just yelled at someone. I just said what the GPU was. Oh my god, did you you thought he said C he thought CPU when the person said GPU. Or did he say GPU when the person said CPU? I literally just said it. What did you have your PC? And it says on the back it's got an AMD Ryzen 7 5800H processor, 32 gigabytes of RAM, a terabyte of storage, and it has both wireless and a LAN connection. Okay? So there you go. It's a mini PC. Do you want to see it? It's not opened yet. It's, it's vacuum Wait sealed. For it. Do you want to open it and see what it is? All right. So what's the GPU? I literally just said it. You did not say GPU. Holy fuck. He really is that fucking stupid. I mean, we already knew that, but... For things like I've always wanted to do and I couldn't do because I didn't have access to a PC, you know, emulate. The graphics card, that I have no idea. I don't even know, if it, you know, what it's probably... I mean, it's this small. You have to think that it's it's got to be like a, a crappy onboard graphics card. But the point is, this is not for 3D PC gaming. This is for things like I've always wanted to do and I couldn't do because I didn't have access to a PC, you know, emulation or basic things on Steam. And I'm going to tell you in a moment if this works, what we're going to do with it, all right? But let's, let's open it up. Let's see what it is, shall we? Um... I kind of need a knife. Hold on. I have my knife over here. Now, of course, the question is, is it actually sent by a fan? This will be interesting. Is it ac ac actually sent by a fan? Oh, God, he's got a knife. I've never seen a PC this small in my life. I've seen small build PCs. I've never seen one quite this small. So... So, the Speed S. Let's 
So it just slides open like that. Look at that. Okay. Oh my god, it's even smaller? How small is this thing? This is ridiculous. So first of all, there's a whole box that says accessories. So literally, this is accessory. The PC is half the box. What on earth? We're going to look at that it. That is a tiny ass PC. So accessories. What accessories does it come with? But for someone like him, it's all he needs. He does. He's not playing Elden Ring on PC. He's not playing Starfield on PC. So he doesn't really need that powerful computer. Just saying. Uh. Wow, it comes with a ton. It comes with an HDMI cable. It comes with a another HDMI cable, a short and a long HDMI cable. Wait, that's this is a USB cable. This is a USB cable. No, this is an HDMI cable. <laughs> it's probably a Display Port. <laughs> They're both HDMI cables. One's tiny and one's bigger. I don't know why it comes with two different lengths of HDMI cable. That's a little weird. Here's your power cord. <clears throat> okay. Here is... Once again, this is a gaming stream. Your power adapter. It's a power block that you plug in and you put the power cord into the power adapter. All right. So, pretty standard stuff. Um, I think this is a mounting bracket, but I don't know what you would want to mount on the PC or, you know, maybe you need to, if you're going to buy a dedicated graphics card for it, it goes in a special spot. So that's what it comes with. Your power adapter and two HDMI cables are your accessories that go into the accessories box, okay? All right. You got your user's manual right here, which I'll probably read through later because it'll probably explain. <clears throat> it's got a USB port, a Type-C port, a headphone jack, a power button, a, a Ethernet port, a DP port? I don't know what DP port is. Display port. Mr. I used to build PCs for a living. Display port. It's maybe it's a different kind of uh, display input. Probably display port input, right? It's dedicated display port input. It's that different connector, yeah, right? Yeah, chat told I've you seen it was that display before. port. Um, HDMI and DC. So it has one HDMI port. That's it. You're getting one HDMI out. That's it. And then, oh, this is that was a wall mount bracket so that you can actually bracket. Wow. You could put this PC on the back of a TV. That's actually what that bracket's for, to mount it to the back of a TV so that you can basically have a PC installed on your TV permanently. I wasn't expecting that. That's weird, but that Wait, is it a wall mount? He said wall mount, right? So you could mount it to the wall wherever you wanted to. Plenty of open air, right? I guess if, you if it allowed you to hook it up directly to your TV, you would need a shorter cord. Plug it into the TV with a shorter cord. Uh, but he said wall mount. Anyways. That's what that bracket was for, okay? Um, so let's see here. And it show, actually it shows you some different ways that you can do upgrades to it. It shows you that you can put in new RAM and how you can put in a new SSD card for storage. It shows you how to do that, some instructions. Step one, connect the power supply. Step two, connect the monitor with the DP cable. But I'm hoping you can do HDMI because I don't think my TV, well, I know for a fact my capture device doesn't use a display port. Actually, maybe that's what that cord is. Maybe that cord is a display port HDMI cable. Hold on a second here. It only took me five minutes to figure that out. No, that just looks like a regular HDMI. They both look like HDMI. I don't know. Look at the cable. I thought what they were saying that. is one of these is a display port that goes to HDMI, but they both look like HDMI to me. I guess I won't know until I actually start messing with the thing. They both look like standard HDMI to me. I don't know. But they're saying to use a display port to attach it to, a, to your TV, but I don't know my TV doesn't have a display port, and I don't, also don't have a display port cable. So. Anyway. Step three, connect the keyboard and mouse. I have a keyboard and mouse. <clears throat> I do have a keyboard and mouse separate. Um, and this thing has two, two USB ports. So it has just enough for the keyboard and mouse. The bummer is it only has two USB ports. So because of that, I might have to use a USB hub in order to actually fully use this thing, I'm thinking. Well, I have... Let's see, let's see. My mouse is plugged into my keyboard, but the keyboard's plugged into the computer. Then I have a controller plugged in. I'm not going to count the USB drive or the external hard drive I got plugged in, because you can always unplug this whenever you need to. Unless I got one plugged in for the 5, one plugged in for the capture card. 
one plugged in for the microphone. I'm not counting external hard drive or flash drive. I would need at least five USB ports. Sheesh. Have one. So maybe if I have to use it, we could use it. I guess we'll have to see. How to change audio playback devices on Windows. That's it? That's literally it. Everything else is different instru different languages. That's all the, in the, the instructions. Wow. It's like two pages. All the instructions so you there's need. There's not much to this. It's very simplistic. Um, let's actually take a look at it. Ready? You take the foam off. Thank you for your choice. During the system boot process, if you cannot log into your personal account, turn off Wi-Fi and LAN. Select the skip option. Log into your personal account in the system. <clears throat> huh? This is it. This is the PC. <laughs> This is it. This is the whole thing. Right here. Uh, wow. Made in China. So, shall we take the plastic off and take a look at this thing? I'm fairly certain we're not playing 3D games on this thing. The thing is so small, I don't see how it could be possible. I'm really I think this is more for emulation. Yeah, you're definitely not playing Quake from 1993 on there. That's a 3D game, DSP. You're definitely not playing... That's a really old game. That being 3D. I am just completely blanked. I cannot remember a single game between Quake and today. That's terrible. And and simple games, right? So there you go. Took the plastic off. It's blue. Trig key. AMD Ryzen Seven. 5800 series, or 5000 series, and AMD Radeon graphics, it says. So it's got probably onboard graphics, right? Trig key. So it's got, it looks like, is that a speaker? It's got built in, no way those are speakers. That can't be speakers. That's got to be like ventilation. There's no way they put built in speakers on this thing. I don't believe that for a second. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> I don't believe that at all. Um, we have some ventilation there. There's your Ethernet port. There's your two USBs. One's blue, so that's probably the Type C, and the other one's probably a standard USB. Blue is 3.0, regular is 2.0, jackass. And then you got your display port, and you got your HDMI port. There's your power adapter right there. And two more. It's got four USB ports. Oh, never mind. This is good then. Yeah, this is fine. It's got four USB ports. So I shouldn't have a problem. I should be able to plug in a controller, keyboard, and mouse, and not have any issue. It's got four. Cool. All right. So, two there, and I don't, is that a USB-C? But why would it have that connector? It's the small connector. Why would it have that? That's really weird, that it has that type of connector. Why not have the, the actual port, not the, I don't know why it has that. And then it's got a headphone jack, although I'll probably never use that. I'll do audio out via uh, HDMI, right? And then there's your power button. So, there you go. It's a mini PC, all right? Now, so you might say, well, Phil, what are you gonna use this thing for? Well, right now, I can tell you immediately what I wanna use it for, all right? Chrono Trigger. Why is there a piece of rubber on the bottom? What the heck? Does that rubber footy so it doesn't slide around if you set it on a flat surface? This is... Okay, I got an honest question. All right. What the hell is this big piece of rubber? Look at this. There's a flicking piece of rubber down here. Why does that exist? Maybe so that it has a little bit of aeration underneath? It doesn't sit perfectly flat. It kind of has a little bit of rubber. I'm not sure what that's for. A piece of rubber. Look. Like a flick it. It's like... I mean, that's what it is. It just creates a little bit of aeration under it. I don't, I don't know. All right. Anyway. <laughs> so basically, it's a mini PC. How powerful is it? Honestly, I don't know. All right. How useful is it? Honestly, I don't know. I mean, 32 gigs of RAM is more than enough he'll ever need. All right. I doubt it's on par with the Steam Deck, but it's got some decent components, right? So what would I use this for? All right. Immediately, a couple things. Number one, there is a game that I absolutely positively want to play. I've wanted to play it for years. I told you specifically, I want to play it for my anniversary and I've not had access to it. And if this works, which we have to test, I will be playing this game this month. Ladies and gentlemen. Chrono Trigger. Finally, after over a decade, I will be playing the best RPG in recorded human history. Amazing soundtrack, great story, Auto's awesome characters, really cool gameplay, multiple endings, replayability, and for the first time ever, with an interactive audience. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to you live from my weird tiny PC donated by a fan, 
as long as it works, which we don't know yet, I have to test it. Chrono fucking trigger. It's about goddamn time that I'll be able to play this game in a, for a modern audience. I've been waiting years and years and years to play this one again. I've wanted to play it again. The last time I played it was 2012. And it was emulated back then. You couldn't even get it on a console back then. Um, on PC. But basically, it was not an interactive audience. It was just me playing it for myself. People back then were not receptive to retro games. When I played retro games like that, they were angry. Oh, this is crappy. Why are you playing this, this retro game? No one cares about it. Stop playing it and go back to GTA and go back to the modern new game. And it was really annoying. That summer of retro that I did, I was very annoyed by it. Because I was trying to expose my audience, which was mostly back then, let's be honest, teenagers. All right? It was a bunch of teenagers. And they just wanted to see everything new. And that was it. <clears throat> and I was like, no, you got to understand. This is the summer of retro. I'm going to expose you to Super Mario World, Super Mario Brothers 3, the classic Final Fantasies, the classic Chrono Trigger. We're going to play Earthbound. We're going to do Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. And they crapped all over me all summer. How dare you? This is a horrible idea. It's the most boring summer ever. I couldn't believe it. And I actually got pretty upset. And I lashed out. And that was actually one of the first times when my viewers were angry at me because they were like, you don't understand what we want. How dare you basically give it back to us because we don't like what you're playing. One of the first major disconnects I actually had with my audience. Today, in 2023, things are a lot different, right? Being that we're an interactive audience, we look for cool, chill games. That Chrono Trigger is perfect. I mean, it's like, I don't know how that game turned out as well as it did, but it's... He's going to be using so many guides and expecting Chet to hold his hand. It's going to be hilarious. It's one of the best video games of all time. To this day, I still think it holds up as one of the best video games of all time. All right? So, I would absolutely love to play it, and it's on Steam. That's the only way you can actively play the game right now is to actually have a fucking Super Nintendo or to have Steam. That's it. So if this works, all right, and it, yeah, that's something easy I can do, I guarantee you that game should run on this, right? Why wouldn't it run on this? So I want to do Chrono Trigger this morning. I'm going to laugh if it right? doesn't. So I think I wanna, I'm, we're going to do it, all right? I think we're going to do it. If it works. But the question is, well, so how many great games out there? Right, he's going to play something one, no one asked I've for. Already ordered. He's skipping Baldur's Gate 3. He's skipping Liza P, which comes out in September. He's going to be playing Chrono Trigger. Gotcha an extra long USB cable for my Xbox controller. Xbox works off of USB. What, what was that? That's it, because it's a Windows device. So I want to do Chrono Trigger this month, all right? Wait for it. So I think I want we're going to do it, all right? I think we're going to do it, if it works. But the question is, well, how am I going to tell? All right, here's the deal. Number one, I've already ordered an extra long USB cable for my Xbox controller. Xbox works off of USB-C. And if you plug it into any PC, Windows detects it because it's a Windows device. It's Microsoft. And you guess what? You do that with PS5 controllers. I had a PS5 controller before I had a PS5 because I plugged it into my computer because I was just like PlayStation over Xbox. Then I knew I'd eventually get a PS5, so I'd have a backup controller. Anyways, you already ordered an extra long cable. Doesn't even know it's going to work. Now. He may have meant that he got that package and then immediately ordered the extra long cable. Which I think would make more sense because some people say, well, he's already ordered the extra long cable. Well, he didn't, he said he didn't know the computer was coming in until today. Like, yeah, but this fucker doesn't plan ahead. He never plans ahead. So it feels like, yes, he, oh, I got a PC. I better. Buy an extra long USB C cable for Xbox. But. He's been begging for a Steam Deck. Why would a fan send this instead of a Steam Deck? There's a lot going around right now on the internet. It's like, did he buy this? Did he not buy it? Did a fan actually donate it? Was he told ahead of time? Who knows? You could use any, any Microsoft controller on a PC. So. I bought an extra long control, uh, cord. It's actually coming later today. And what I'm going to do is... Ha! It's coming in today. So you did order this beforehand. You did not order it today after you got the mini PC. You ordered it beforehand, meaning you knew this was coming beforehand. Huh. Maybe a fan didn't donate it. Just maybe he just spent hundreds of dollars that he doesn't have, guys, to get this. To explain one reason why he's been getting a little antsy over tips lately, because he spent however much money on this. What are your theories? I'm going to come off here because he's boring as shit. I'm ready to fall asleep. 
As always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have one hell of a day.